Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the Craft Galley channel. Today I am going to get to make a project that's sort of like a set of cards that you could give as a gift or um, just kind of like a themed set of cards using the Sunny Studios Love Bites stamp set. This thing has been on my list for a very long time. I love punny jokes. I love punny sentiments. And um, this one did not disappoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp out all of my images with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that I can alcohol marker them. So I started to pull out my alcohol markers quite a bit lately. I'm having a lot of fun um, coloring them. I'm really enjoying that process. Uh, the more you practice, the better you become. That is probably the most obvious statement you're going to hear all day long <laughs> because we need to practice. You know, this morning I was watching a video and I said to my husband, I said, look at how she colors that hair. And he said, he goes, wow, that's really good. He said, you could tell she takes time, you know, doing that. I said, yeah, I can't do that. And he goes, well, have you ever really tried? I, of course, paused with hesitation as I knew his point was drastically being made and then I said well no he said well then there you have it <laughs> so point taken got it I need to practice so anytime you practice you get better at something so yay for us okay so I wanted to say I'm coloring this what I thought was wine I, don't judge me I must have wine on the brain is actually a soy sauce bottle <laughs> So, I do apologize for that. Soy sauce is not red like red wine. There's no Merlot in soy sauce. So, um, yeah, but anyway, I don't end up using that one for this set of cards. Anyway, so, had a lot of fun making the Coca-Cola bottle. I thought um, that was real, really fun, and those colors came together pretty nicely. I like the added touch I do for the card later, so. Okay, so as I'm coloring, you can see I'm putting the caps in the frame so that you can see which combinations I use. I was pretty happy with these combinations. I do have a Spectrum Noir chart that helps me identify which colors are true to the um, caps on the bottle um, and which are not. And so this way, basically I have them swatched out so I could see exactly what I'm gonna be getting. It makes my coloring a whole lot faster. So whatever alcohol marker or really whatever medium you use the most, I would definitely recommend swatching out. I used to not do that because of the time it took, but in reality, the end state, it takes a lot less time overall when you have that already swatched out and you can just quick pick out what colors you want. You know what's gonna blend, you know what's gonna go together. Because for a Spectrum Noir, a lot of times the caps don't really match. And then a lot of times also the color families don't really go together, which I find odd that that would be a thing, but it is. So um, the swatching of it really, really, truly helps. So it's just my recommended tip for you. And I do that with, I've done it with my colored pet watercolor pencils. I've done it with watercolors. Um, and then of course my alcohol markers. And I even have my uh, distress oxides swatched out. So it just really does help me, especially when I'm doing like color combos. Okay, so I pulled out this um, deep green. I love these little olives. I'm a huge fan of olives. I don't know if you guys like olives as much as me, but I have like a rack and stack of what is like my favorite to what's my least, even though I still like them. So you know the maroon olives? I don't know what they're called. They're super good. They begin with a K. If you know, it's comment below. Um, those are my ultimate favorite and then black olives and then green olives. I really like olives. My kids do too. It's very strange. I don't think I had an olive as a kid. <laughs> they eat the weirdest things. Okay. This thing I'm coloring right now, um, that was, I believe a loaf of bread for a moment. I thought it was, um, spam. I'm not kidding. It was not colored for me. So I didn't know. So yeah, I thought it was like one of those big cans of ham or spam, but it turns out it's probably a loaf of bread. Okay, so I cut out all my image out, all my images out. I fussy cut them, and then I'm just gonna line them with this black marker, uh, just so that it makes it look like they are perfectly cut out, which they are not. <laughs> so after I get that done, 
I'm going to score my, all of my card bases. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm trying to make these as much of a one layer card as possible. And so I want to make sure I know where that halfway point is. I don't fold them. I just score them. So now I've taken a whole bunch of dies from my set in different shapes and cut this uh, Nina 180 pound card stock with it. And I'm going to use that as a stencil. So I'm just going to randomly um, mix colors. I'm going to use wilted violet, picked raspberry. Then I'm going to use some blues and greens, some grays and purples. And I'm just going to, uh, sorry, this is not, that's not, is that purple? That, that's not purple. That's the new, yeah, shaded lilac, I believe, and the gray. Um, and so this way I'm just getting a whole bunch of different card panels ready to go. So I have some feminine colors, some masculine colors, and that's why I kind of like the idea that this is like a cute little gift card set to give somebody. I think this is cute. They can leave these little notes for their kids or their spouse. Um, and so, yeah. All right. So I start doing my stamping and then I realize that this is super crooked The all of you. So I'm going to fix that later. This one is You're Totally My Jam. Love that. It's so funny. As I'm watching this, it looks like I'm stamping crooked on all of these. But in real life, only one looked really crooked. This one is I Sorta Like You. And I thought this, this pun was I sort of like you or I so do like you. I don't know which one it is. So you tell me what you think. <laughs> so I'm going to put down one of the images flat. And then the other image is going to be popped up on foam tape. And that's just to add a tiny bit of dimension. So I go through and I do all that. And I'm going to start doing my final touches here um, with some of the um, extras. So for this one, I'm going to actually draw on the legs and arms that were I did not want to fussy cut. So I'm just going to draw those on right back onto my olive seat right there. And then it looks... No one's ever the wiser, right? I'm going to add some Nuvo Microglaze to um, a lot of the images. The white is going to be for sprinkles. And then I'm going to glaze the donut, the, of course, the glass for the Coca-Cola Coca bottles. Um, I did it for the jam bottle. And so those final touches for these cards really add something. And this is, I definitely would consider a clean and simple set of cards. And then, of course, my little soda finishing touch here. I like the little bubbles that look like carbonation because it's glitter. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. So that'll finish it all for the cards. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and crafting. Uh, don't forget to head over to the shop and see all the awesome new stuff that's come in. And if, let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer those below. I hope you like this card set and I hope you're inspired to give it a try. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to hit subscribe in the upper left-hand corner here. And until we see you in our next video, here's some more to hold you over by clicking the lower right-hand corners. Bye-bye.